Cleo. You made this at work? One of my coworkers made it for me. Oh, that's so cool! It's a Halloween Bulbasaur! It's your favorite! You want me to put a light inside? It's a pumpkin sore. It's a what? That's what they call a pumpkin sore, but it's a pumpkin Bulbasaur. It's so cute! It's yeah, it's wow. meant to have one of the little lights in there. Yeah, I have a little light. We can put it in there. Oh, that's cute. We got Boba sword. A good bow. Yeah, Boba. You like it? Say thank you. Oh. <laughs> Man, this sucks. Okay. Do I just like... I'm gonna just... No, that's not how. Is it how? I can't get it, so I'm gonna just do that. And this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. She's so pretty. So I got it in gold, obviously. But wow. Wow. I didn't get the max because I just think that's too big. But wow. I love it. Oh, that just reminds me of the like really old iPhones. Like. Wow. Oh, ready? Are you ready, guys? Here we go. Ooh. It's like, do I even know how to use this? So there's the cord. Um, and that's it. Oh my gosh, I missed uh, the headphones and all the other things that comes with it. But... This is it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna see if I can set this up. Is that even how you turn it on? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh no, fingerprints. It's really pretty. That's really pretty. Wow.
so I left you with me opening my package from Fashion File, which contained this. Um, this is the Brazo wallet, and I got it because it fits the Hobonichi Weeks, which is my kind of like my new planner, I guess. Like I've had this planner since April, but recently I'm like, I want to commit to it. I feel bad that it's just kind of like sitting down and literally I would just scribble random stuff in it. Um, but now I'm actually planning in it and also planning in my Louis Vuitton um, agenda. That's agenda. So I have two planners right now and I love how this one is like so easy to take with me. So this is also my wallet. So I have my cards on this side and then like cash right there. Um, there's also like a zipper compartment as you can see but I'm not gonna, I don't think I'll put anything in there because it'll, it'll be so bulky but anyways, I had to do a lot of things, quite a bit of things to my Hobonichi Weeks to fit in here properly. Um, I'll do a whole separate video on that and showing you like, you know, how it looks and everything like that. Right now it's just, yeah, I'm still getting used to it. Um, the wallet is second hand, so it kind of has its own shape, I guess you would say. So I'm s still trying to make it so it's shaped around the Hobonichi Weeks. So yeah, anyways, like I said, I'll do a whole video all about it, but I do have this like elastic that I just took off from another planner to kind of keep it closed whenever I have it in my bag or whatnot. Um, yeah, eventually I'll find something that's brown. Um, I have to look online, but this cute pink one works fine for now. So anyways, that is that. Um, again, I'll do a whole separate video about my Hobonichi Weeks planner, like a proper video. Anyways, today the boys are actually out. They're doing stuff. I decided to stay at home. Um, run errands. I just got back from the grocery store. Um, I just finished like putting things away. Um, also, I went to Target and I picked up a few things at Target. Uh, mainly went there to get Liam a Halloween costume. I got him like a minion one. I'll see if he likes that. If not, I'll order something at on Amazon. But I got him that and then I also picked this up. Look at this. This is a cute bodysuit. Look how cute. I love that it's nude. I don't have anything nude. And I'm really into bodysuits right now. Um, but this was only $10. So I was like, okay, let's try it out. I didn't try it on or anything yet. Um, I'll do that later. But I'm pretty sure it'll fit. I just got it an extra small. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, only 10 bucks, And then everything else that I got are pens from my Hobonichi. So again, I'll do a proper video, like showing you my planner. And then we'll do like pen test and stuff but for now it's just a haul so um what i got from target is this i really really like i'm pretty sure i showed you guys this this is the pentel slissy i don't know how to say that pen this is what i've been using for i don't know the past year or so two years maybe um it is 0.25 so it's super super fine i love it it's what i've been using in my hobonichi weeks it's just sometimes it smears so you kind of have to let it dry so if I want to work really fast and I do flip back and forth um, when I'm planning sometimes I smear it um, so I was like trying to find a pen that's really similar to this one but dries quicker if that makes sense um, in my stash I also have the Pilot V6 RT I really like this one this is I think a 0.5 um, I could be totally wrong, but this one's really good. It dries really quick. It's just not as fine as mine. I mean, this one's 0.25, so it's like super, super skinny. Um, I just love this pen. I love how it writes. It's just, yes, it needs a little bit more drying time for the Hobonichi Weeks. Um, I don't find that it smears on my desk agenda on the Louis Vuitton one. Um, but yeah, for the Hobonichi Weeks, it smears a little bit, so I was like, mmm. But this one, the Pilot Precise V5 RT, I believe, yeah, this is 0.5. This one doesn't smear, so I'll link that below. Um, so I like that, but I was like, okay, I'm not, like, in love with it. So I was like, mm, let me just go look for some and 
yeah. So anyways, I picked this one up at Target. It is the Sharpie Pen S Gel. And I got this one instead of like the normal black pack, which was like the same price, but you get like five. This one you get two, but you get like the nice barrel. You know, it just looks so nice. So we'll see how this one works. This one is 0.7 mm, so it's thick. So I'm a little iffy about this one. Not sure if I'll love it. Um, and then I also picked up this one. This is another Pilot um, pen. So this is the Pilot G205. So this is a 0.5 mm. And it says it's super smooth. And it's also refillable. So we'll see how that one works. Oh, also this one says no smear and no bleed. This one doesn't say that so we'll we'll see again these are both like gel pens and I'll, I'll test them out in my Hobonichi video later um oh no what happened what is that okay it's just like a little I also picked up a pencil case I have this one right now I love this and I like bring this around with me um you know around the house but this is something I cannot bring with me you know, if I ever want to, like, bring pens. Um, so I decided, let me get this one from Sugar LA. Um, Sugar Paper LA. So this was, I believe, $8. And it's just so cute. And it's just, it's nice and flat. I can fit it in my purse or something. And also, it's, like, pretty much the same size as my planner. So that's kind of cool. You can kind of just, like, maybe keep it with it or something. You know, like, boom done so yeah not that i bring a whole bunch with me on the go anyways but just in case just in case also this is pretty so i couldn't resist i love it the inside is just like this really pretty stripe color so yeah eight dollars for this not too bad it says it's sugar paper right there in like gold foil and then it says essentials right underneath so i thought that was really pretty and then I also picked this up. So these are just normal 1mm ballpoint pens. So they're okay. They're not, they're not my favorite. They're very thick. Um, but I really, really love how it looks. So this is the new um, Rachel um, Parcel collection for Blue Sky. I really love it. So I, I was just thinking like I can just change the the ink in the inside hopefully I can figure something out um and then use you know so you know what I'm saying but yeah just really cute this was I think $4.99 so not too terrible for like three pens you know not not too bad um why is it wet over here okay last things are pens that I got from the art supply store so there's an art store downtown and I love that store I was gonna vlog but there was quite a bit of people there and yeah so I, I just did it i guess i feel weird vlogging when there's too many people around me so anyways i got a bunch of stuff so i got two tombow um markers and i have you guys know i bought like a bunch recently <laughs> i don't even think i showed it in the vlog i think i just kind of showed it on instagram or something but I bought a bunch recently and i'm like ooh, i want more <laughs> I love them for my planners. They don't bleed through or anything like that. It's just they're so good. So anyways, I don't have these colors yet. So I got the gr a green one, which is, let me show you this way. 192 is the green one. And then this one is 992. So yeah, I love these colors. They're just really good neutrals. And I already have, I was looking at like their purples and pinks and I already have the ones that I like so yeah but these I do not have and I love okay and then I saw this I mean it's kind of cute I like how it's like neutral so this one is 0.7 so it's on the thicker side but I tested it and it dries so quick and I believe these are like felt yeah they're felt tips like that so for some reason I don't like writing with the mic micron pens. I have a bunch of them. I used to love them like back in college. But for some reason, 
I bought them recently and I just hate them. I hate writing with it. But these I tested out at the store and I'm like, wow, I'm in love. They just write so smooth. So these are felt tips. So you have to be a little bit more gentle with this. So if you have like a really heavy hand, I might not recommend a felt tip pen because you're just going to go through it so quick. Like the tips of it is going to get flattened out and fat and it's not going to give you that precise line anymore. If you know what I mean? I hope I'm making sense. That's what happens to me at least. So I really have to be a little bit more gentle when I'm writing with these kind of pens. But these were super cheap. How much was this? So at the store... These were about, well, for two, it was two seven eight, which isn't too terrible. And then the Tomball ones were three fifty nine. So, yeah, each right away. And then I picked this one up. Now, this is the brand Stabilo, and this is a 0.5 ballpoint. So, it's just like, it feels, to be honest, like a normal pen. But I really, the thing is, I really want a clicky. That's that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, that's, that's, that's like my goal is to find a pen for on the go that you just click and go like right with. Um, because like I said, this one's my favorite pen, but it's not a clicky. And I'm always ended up, I always end up losing the cap for that too. So anyways, um, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the thing. I am looking for a clicky pen. So anyways, this one was like, how much was this? I'm trying to see. I think that's, this one was 350. So yeah, it's just honestly a normal pen. I actually have, this is, I have a little caddy here with the pens that I was playing with earlier this morning before I went to the store. Um, I have these pens. Uh, look how cute they, these are. So these are from the same brand. Sta, Sta below. That right there. So this is the clicky that I got today. It's okay. I mean, I don't hate it. It's fine. It's just like a normal pen. Um, but these I love. These are 0.4. They're a little bit finer. Um, and also these are felt tips. And they're just fun to write with. Uh, I bought these last summer, I think. And I've, I've used them here and there. They dry super quick, which is great. Um, okay, last two that I'm going to share with you is this. So these are expensive, <laughs> right? These are $4.29. So these are more expensive than the Tombow brush pens. Um, so the, this is the Faber-Castell brand, this one. They had such a nice display in the back of the store with these and I just fell in love when I swatch, tried these out. So I got these colors. They're just like dark brown and the lighter brown. This one's a little bit more towards like that brownish yellow. Here, let me show you. I was testing them out there. I had my planner with me because I wanted to make sure they're not something that smears like crazy. So, okay. So... So these are the Tombow, those two right there, the green and then the brown. And then this was the pink that I was about to get, but then I looked and I already had it. Um, so anyways, um, I didn't end up getting this. See that? But that was a marker. It was so nice. So anyways, um, those two that I just showed you, I believe were these right here on the side. They're so cute. I love them. I love how that looks. And then, yeah, I was testing out, like, other pens there. We can see how much those ones smears. And I was like, nope. So, yeah. I was going to get this one. It's called the Pentel something. But I really liked how it didn't smear. But as I kept, like, writing hello, it just was, like, dying. It was drying out. So I didn't pick it up. And that was, like, the only one that they had at the store. So maybe next time. Um, anyways, that is it. I had a lot of fun kind of just like go going around town by myself. I haven't gone around town by myself in so long. So it was nice to just kind of have, I guess, me time. And I was at the art store looking at pens for, I don't know, almost an hour probably. It was nice to just kind of like take my time and actually like look through the stuff because like when you have a little one you're always like go 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 so anyways i am home now i'm just gonna play with my pens i have my shop out here it is lunchtime so 
I'm just gonna have show pao because I'm too lazy to make anything else. And yeah, that is it. Um, the plan for today is shoot photos for mine and Grace's new collection that's coming out. Um, I'll post. I think we will post later today. The sun is a little, it's a little gloomy, so I'm kind of waiting for it to come out a little bit more so I can do a video. But yeah, I'm excited for you guys to see our new collection. Um, just stay tuned for that. Also, what else? I had a release yesterday for the shop, so I have orders to make. And oh my gosh, um, yesterday when I had the release, I was so pumped about it in the morning. And then... As the day went on, I just got in this like really bad mood where I literally was like crying and I felt sad and just like it was anxiety. So I didn't end up posting anymore. But every time I checked my phone, there was an order and it really helped with my anxiety and it made me so happy. So I'm like starting to get... Mm. Yeah, it was a rough day yesterday. I even had Tom come home early just because I, I couldn't. Um, pretty much all I did all day was like after the release, I like just hung out with Liam because he makes me happy and he helps with my anxiety. Um, so yeah, it was rough yesterday. But um, everyone who placed an order on my shop, you know, every time I looked, it made me feel good i guess like i did something right that day so thank you to everyone who <laughs> sorry <sighs> it was a rough day yesterday but um today's a little bit better i'm still kind of like in that <sighs> but it's a little better today but yeah thank you everyone to who oh my god i can't even talk but yeah thank you everyone who supports my shop like you guys are awesome and like I said, yesterday was rough, so every time I would see, like, an order, it just made me so happy. And even today, I was like, oh my god. So thank you for supporting my shop, you guys. It really means so much to me. Um, it makes me really happy that I can make pretty things, and you guys love it too, you know what I mean? Like, I love that. Like, we share the same, I guess, like, passion and same love for it's just it, it just really makes me happy happy and I know through my shop and even just my Instagram and videos um, I've made so many good friends because we share the same interest and it just it's awesome I love it so anyways I'm blabbing now thank you guys for listening and I hope you enjoyed this oh my gosh 17 minutes I don't even know how long this video is gonna be but I hope you enjoyed this entire video <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on Thursday. Um, I think the Thursday video is going to be our new collection. Oh my gosh. I think, I think, I think. So yeah, okay. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you on Thursday.